Welcome, an interview by DJ's PRC. I want to say thank you to Great Hobbies for letting me do this. We have the new Armo Fireteam 6S BLX RTR machine here. Uh, I was told it's in the Polaris or uh, I'm not 100% sure on that one, but it looks like an ATV. It is an awesome machine. It is a 6S. Uh, and they're calling it the game-changing handbrake feature performs evasive maneuvers with the handbrake. Uh, there's a couple things they did to it that I kind of I like. They went to the new style of military wheels. Uh, it is still rubber. It is foam uh, foam filled, but the new rims. If you ever saw them, they're cone shape. Uh, you're supposed to be able to see through it. Kind of unbreakable. Unfortunately, they cannot do it on the uh, RC size, I'm assuming. But uh, yeah, it's an awesome machine. It's from Arma. It has the Firma 2050 KV motor in it with the Firma 150 amp speed control. Now it does have the S652 uh, uh, servo steel gears. It's not the greatest. Personally, I would change that out. And it has the uh, SLT remote. Again, that's something I'm not too a big fan of, but you're buying a machine for the first time. If you don't have other remotes, it will work. It will do the job. By looking at the, inside the machine, you have three, uh, four characters, should I say? And three of them have uh, guns. It has a semi-detailed dash. It has a steering wheel, things like that. It still has the famous Arma body clip retainers. That's awesome. One body post in front. Let's remove the body and let's see what's inside. Looking inside the body itself, nice little cage. It is, it looks very solid. It, it's, and it has some weight to it too at the same time. Got some foam in the front here. No foam in the back. This sits inside to support it. And if we look inside the vehicle itself, it has aluminum shocks, sway bars, uh, CVDs in front, steel, aluminum shock tower that I do like. And it has the reinforced steel bar to prevent the chassis from bending. And right here, they have the new game-changing handbrake. It breaks the rear diff directly. I'm, I am literally, I want to try it. I want to try that. I'm curious. Should be awesome. And you have the heat sink cooling down the uh, 2050 and the Firma 150. That servo that I'm not a big fan of, but I do love they put aluminum horn on it this time. Compared to plastic ones on the Creighton, the Italians, even the Outcasts. Uh, aluminum front shock tower, aluminum shocks, sway bars. I set that front and rear sway bars. Aluminum chassis. I do like it. It's the Fireteam 1.7 scale all-wheel drive electronic speed assault vehicle from Arma. Yeah, I would buy one myself personally. I do like it. I kind of look the, uh, the way it's made, the way it looks like. Uh, it's not a conventional vehicle that like you have with the other armors. And it does have a 17 mil X's on it. This thing with paddles should be awesome. <laughs> yep. It has a, oh, even caps with it to help it for the, uh, Power, cool. IC5s. 
You can put uh, two batteries in it or one single pack. Body post, I'm not a big fan. And a single in front, that, yeah, it's so, so for me, for, that, for those guys. I'd rather have two body posts in front just to keep it more solid. But again, they did make some uh, kind of a setting point here for the chassis, but the chassis, but the front grille of the ATV. Same thing in the back two places here and here. But all in all, it looks like a sturdy machine. That's a machine I would recommend. Again, the Arma Fireteam uh, Assault Vehicle. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll be gladly to answer you guys. And don't forget to go check out Great Hobbies, www.greathobbies.com, and subscribe. My Looking at my analytic, uh, a lot of you guys are not subscribed. Hit that subscribe button. I do appreciate it. It does help the channel. And uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Thank you for watching.